Okay, don't take this the wrong way, but is your kid going to be a psychopath? Here's how you might be able to find out. That in a report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe for the latest information. Researchers at University College in London say that laughter may not be contagious for kids who may turn out to be psychopaths. The team st- Or you're just not funny. How about that? The team studied 92 boys aged 11 to 16 for a study on how social reactions as an adolescent could predict later behavior. About two-thirds of the participants had been diagnosed with disruptive behaviors or callous and unemotional traits. There's even an acronym for that. It's called CU traits. CU traits and disruptive behavior have been previously linked to an increased risk of developing psychopathy. For their experiment, the researchers used fMRI scans to measure the brain activity of participants, all of whom were exposed to sounds of both fake and real laughter, occasionally interspersed with crying. Adolescents who demonstrated both risk factors for psychopathy reported less of an urge to laugh in conjunction with others than those who were believed to have one or neither of the traits. This finding was supported by the results of the fMRI scans, which showed a reduced brain activity in the regions associated with emotional reasoning. You can see that in the picture here. While it's not appropriate to label children psychopaths, according to the scientists, as psychopathy is a personal disorder experienced by adults, the signs can be detected at an early age, according to the study authors. Researchers say this doesn't necessarily mean these kids are destined to become antisocial or dangerous. I presume the question is, does the brain activity signal the disorder, or are the results basically a reflection of the possible issues? Scientists hope the research can lead to new approaches to treatment. Find more detail on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.